geographic information system lesson 7 sources of raster data and vector data the different sources for geospatial data which can be acquired at free of cost or by buying data we will briefly explain about what kind of data is available at different levels and how to find data. Sources of raster data, remote sensing satellite data, space shuttle images, digitally elevated model, derived products, scanned images and maps. Sources of vector data and sources of metadata. Sources of raster data. They are number of ways to obtain raster data, but most commonly data is obtained from aerial photography and satellite imagery. In aerial photography, an aeroplane flies above the required area to be mapped where the camera is mounted underneath the aeroplane. The aerial photographs are usually in the digital format which can be easily imported into a computer. If the aerial photographs are printed on a hard copy, then these can be used as original mapping or converted into digital form that is raster form with the use of high quality scanners. This digital data can be imported into a computer and used. Satellite imagery which is received from satellite orbiting the earth captures the signals from the earth surface features of the area they are passing over. Once the image has been recorded, it is transmitted back to the earth receiving station through electromagnetic radiation. The process of capturing the raster data from aeroplane or satellite is called remote sensing. We will discuss about the different sources of raster data which have already been acquired and archived by data providers and which have been available for users. Satellite data provides satellite imagery in several data formats with a variety of data products produced. Remote sensing satellite data. They are various ways of acquiring remote sensing data in India like National Data Center, NDC, ISRO which is located in Hyderabad. Remote sensing data from many satellites are available at the Global Land Cover Facility GLCF. This is the center for land cover science with the focus on research using remotely sensed satellite data and products to access land cover change from local to global scales. They are freely downloadable, archived Landsat ortho rectified imagery for all the bands like ETM PAN, TM and MSS data. These data are having locational accuracy of more than 50 meters. This remote sensing satellite data are useful for many of the natural resources like mapping, monitoring, change detection studies, environmental studies, etc. Beside the Landsat data, some selected data from Aster, Iconos, QuickBird, OrbView, Modis, SRTM, etc. are also available. Aster, Advanced Space Bond Thermal Emission and Reflection data are available from Terra satellites at NASA website. They are more than one website which is offering fully or partially downloadable Aster data for some parts of the Earth the data captured broadly divided into three categories based on the size of the data and objectives of the study namely local observation, regional monitoring and global map mapping. The remote sensing data could be also be obtained from the Google Earth and ISRO Bhuvan about which we shall discuss. Google Earth We all are using Google Earth which has a large number of images and other geographic information. The free Google Earth basic program consists of thousands of satellite 
or aerial photographs that have been updated continuously. This program allows the users to view their homes or any other area of interest around the world in the matter of second. Based on the type of information it provides, the Google Earth can be categorized as hybrid database provider because in addition to the images, vector database comprising administrative or political boundaries, important place names, image scales, acquisition data, tourist places, another information are available. Google Earth has quick bird images to its browsers covering important places like cities, airports, industries and others. The users can view their area of interest and observe at various angles, altitude, scales and information. Geographic coordinates could be derived for any area, navigation tools like zoom, visualize, etc. are available. These quick bird images can be downloaded by paying reasonable prices. We have been using this Google Earth images in our day to day life. The main is navigation. Whenever you open Google Maps, the image which you are finding is nothing but the Google Earth visualization. And it, in the GPS, we also have the ability to zoom in and zoom out a particular image or particular navigation route. This explains that large amount of data is available at simple free of cost. Bhuvan, it is a geo portal of Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, showcasing Indian imaging capabilities in multi-sensor, multi-platform and multi-temporal domain. This earth browser gives a gateway to explore and discover virtual earth in 3D space with specific emphasis on Indian regions. Bhuvan on its portal provides a range of services enabling visualization of various thematic data generated from different national missions and the project carried out by Direction National Remote Sensing Center Hyderabad. Bhuvan provides images relating to land, weather, ocean and disaster services, land services, groundwater potential zone and groundwater discharge areas, land use or land cover, crop assessment and crop projection forecast, watershed development, national, state and district level wasteland information, forest cover areas, weather services. The important element to improve weather forecast and services is observation. ISRO's program on disaster management support and village resource center have weather information as a critical component. Several major user agencies in the country such as Indian Meteorological Department, Snow and Avalanche Study Establishment, Central Water Commission require automated systems for weather data collection from remote and inaccessible areas. On Bhuvan, this service gives information about latitude, longitude, temperature, pressure, wind and humidity for a particular location. Ocean Services The data about potential fishing zone contain information about distance, direction and depth of potential fishing. Disaster Service The disaster management support program of ISRO commence to provide timely support and services from aerospace system both in image and communication to resolve disaster management in the country. Space shuttle images. Large information by digital astronaut photographs are available at websites of Johnson Space Center USA. This website hosts digital data of the entire world taken during different space mission and provides data of different time scales. However, the digital astronaut image require some processing before these can actually be used by the users. Digital elevation model data. Digital elevation models are one of the most versatile examples of raster data. These files contain 
x and y coordinates which indicate location along with the z coordinate which indicate the elevation of that location. Digital elevation models can be used to support numerous topological application. The primary utility of the data set come from the fact that they represent topological surface. For example, height variation on the earth surface and the show the relation in 3D with physical landforms when all other features are placed upon them. Other data sets can be overlain on digital elevation models to provide a more realistic relationship between the data and the underlying topography. 3D GIS based application essentially require digital elevation models as one of the important layers. Digital elevation models can be generated from spot height data collected from ground surveys and from information in topographical maps. Shuttle radar topographic machine DEM data. It is a joint product between national imagery and mapping agencies and national astronauts and space administration NASA. The objective of this project is to produce digital topographic data for earth surface with the data points located everywhere every one arc second on latitude and longitude grid. The absolute vertical accuracy of the elevation data is 16 meters. Other users of the data include drainage modeling, realistic flight simulators and site suitability for a cell phone tower location, navigation safety, improved mapping, task flood control, soil conservation, reforestation, etc. Astrodem Land processes distributed active archive centers offer Aster image data DEM products. GTOPO 30 It is a global DEM with horizontal grid spacing of 30 arc second. It was derived from several raster and vector sources of topographic information. This project completed in 1996 and developed over a three year. Through a collaborative effects led by staff at the USGS Earth Resources Observation and Science Center, ETOPO 5, 5 minute gridded elevation data. It is generated from a digital database of land and sea floor elevation on a 5 degree latitude and longitude grid. Hydro 1K. It is a geographic database developed to provide comprehensive and consistent global coverage of topographical derived data sets includes streams, drainage, basin and ancillary layers derived from the USGS 30 arc second meters of the world. It provides a suit of georeferencing to data sets. Ethopo 2. It is newly created global elevation database gridded at 2 minute latitude longitude resolution. Land topography. It is from the globe project and international designed, comment developed and independently peer reviewed global digital DEM at a latitude longitude grid spacing of 30 arc second gridded global topography. Terra server, etc. Derived raster products. Some of the commonly used derived raster products includes land use, land cover maps, normalized, difference vegetation index map, spot vegetation data, biodiversity hotspot maps, coral reefs hotspot maps. Scanned images and paper maps. In many cases, the sources of raster data begins as scanned photographs or maps. Many scanned images used in data analysis tools are both for illustrative and interpretative application. For general imagery, where accuracy is not a major concern, 
a simple scanned photograph may be acceptable. It may serve as a basic illustration or guide, but unless it is spatially accurate, it has no real place in data analysis tool. Sources for vector data. Vector is the most popular form of representing features in GIS. The point lines and areas of vector data can be described almost all spatial features on the earth surface. Road network, school districts, accident location, addresses, river and stream features and many more are usually represented by vector data. Besides using existing vector data, most GIS informatics practitioners will end up making their own vector data. There are many sources of vector data from where we can obtain vector data either at same cost or freely. However, you need to be sure and careful while using these maps with regard to their appropriateness and accuracy. The digital chart of the world is an environmental system research institute ISRI product originally developed for the use of defense mapping agency. It is a vector cartographic data set based at 1 is to 1 lakh scale operational navigation chart series which is the largest scale based map source with global coverage. All worldwide topographic maps at 1 is to 2 lakh 50 thousand are available. It also stocks most of the top graphic maps available worldwide at 1 is to 50 thousand scale especially Europe, Central America and South America. Topographic maps at 1 is to 2,25,000 scale for selected countries like UK, France, Switzerland, Belgium and USA other parts of the world are also available. Besides topographic maps at 1 is to 25,000 scale for many major countries worldwide are available. In India, there are several data centers from where one can procure data for example, Andhra Pradesh Geospatial Data Center, Hyderabad, Assam and Nagaland Geospatial Data Center, Gauhati. Similar data centers are present at Patna, Raipur, Chandigarh, Gandhinagar, Jammu Kashmir, Ranchi, Bangalore, Delhi, etc. The Survey of India, Dehradun supplies topographic products to its users at 1 is to 25,000, 1 is to 2 lakh 50,000 and 1 is to 22 lakh 50,000 scales. The various types of map published and distributed by Survey of India are given in its official website. Sources of Metadata Metadata sources include from LandScan and Census of India. The LandScan data set comprises a worldwide population data base compiled on a 30 inch to 30 inch latitude and longitude grid. Census counts were approximated to each grid cells based on likelihood coefficients which are based on proximity to the road slope, common land cover common nighttime lights and other information. Plan scale has been developed as a part of Oak Ridge National Laboratory Global Population Project for estimating ambient population at risk. Indian Census is the largest single source of statistics on the people of India. With a history of more than 125 years of this reliable time tested exercise has been bringing out a variable wealth of statistics every 10 years beginning from 1872 with the first census conducted in India, non-synchronously in different parts. Summary These sources of different data can be utilized in performing different tasks in GIS and also helps in creating a larger database. As these data majoritily are available freely, it can be used in GIS mapping. Many of the data available are having 
geo coordinate accuracy and can be used readily gis data can be created or can be derived from already existing data as there are many forms of free data available the task of preparing the data sets have become easier and the source for the raster and vector data have become very fast and freely available